Hey Megan, uh, there have been some days where I've come off the water and I haven't exactly smelled like Ooh. a bed of roses. No, you have not. Scent's very important. Uh, <laughs> how do I smell? Uh, how do I smell? Oh, you smell nice. I would be attracted to you. I See? put out good pheromones. Yes. Well, we're going to be talking about scent today, guys. So stick around, and we're going to be talking about uh, whether or not scent on baits is really that important. You're going to want to hear this. Back to MFO, everybody. I'm Mark Fisher. And I'm Megan Fuller. We're talking about scents today. Okay. And there's been a huge debate about whether scent is important on baits. You can buy baits like, like the Berkeley Max scent baits that we've talked about that has mm -hmm. that scent to it. We did a whole article and then a re redo article about whether the sticko bait had scent and the ate up scent and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, since that episode earlier this week, I've been curious if scent really matters much. Well, and th and that's a huge debate among fishermen as terms of whether it whether it means something or not. So I'm gonna before we get to the answer of that, I'm gonna talk about how do you determine that, okay? All because right. you really only have two ways of determining it. You can literally test it as in, hey, I'm going to put a bait in the water and see uh, fish doesn't isn't attracted to it. Now I'm going to take the same bait with scent, put it in there, and see if that fish is now attracted to it. That's one way of doing it. The other is, oh, I'm going to fish with a bait that has scent on it and see, oh, I got bit twice as much with the bait that has scent on it as I did with the bait that doesn't have scent on it. That, I'm putting it out there that I don't think that that's as good of a test. Maybe I was fishing it differently because in my head, oh, I'm, I'm, I've got a lot of confidence with this bait because it's got scent, so I'm fishing it better. I'm working it more diligently. Yeah, there's a lot of variables. There's a lot of variables. With that. But here's the story that I'm going to tell you. I was sight fishing. I saw a fish that was on a bed. I wanted that fish. I threw that bait in time and time again and threw it on the bed. The fish would turn, look at the bait, but wouldn't commit to, to going for the bait. I took the bait out, finally sprayed it with some gulp scent, put it in. The fish turned, went and ate it. The cast, the very next cast after I sprayed the gulp scent on it. Okay. Ask me if scent matters. I'm guessing it does. in your mind okay. scent matters. All right, so so what I'm saying in that situation, and again, that was a specific fishing situation. That fish was on a bed. He was determining whether or not that item that was on the bed was a threat to the bed. And when he had that scent, that was enough to convince him that it was, and he ate it. If that worm or crayfish imitator was moving across the bottom and it was moving and the tentacles were flapping, would it need that scent to decide, no, that's alive and I want to eat that? I don't know. You're looking at scent having to do with whether or not the fish commits to biting. And then the other question is, does it hold on long enough for the angler to recognize that he's gotten a bite and set the hook as opposed to you'd be amazed at how many times fish will mouth the bait and let go and the angler doesn't even know that he had the potential of catching that fish because whatever is in the fish's mouth is so on a peeling or so unnatural that it spits it, it out it right spits away. it out right away right it, it and, and it may it may just 
he may get hook or he may get metal or plastic or whatever and go, well, this isn't what I thought it was and just release it right away. Exactly. So in my way of looking at scent and whether scent is important, number one, very rarely is it going to hurt you. Okay. Okay. I absolutely think like in that bed fishing situation, it can help. And I think that it's important to know that when it comes to holding on to baits, I want my plastics to have either some scent or salt or garlic flavor to where they will hold on to it a little bit longer, which is the conversation that we had earlier in the week with the Cinco's and the Stickos. You know, we talked about that eight up scent. I don't think that that scent really is doing anything, but when they grab that sticko or that cinco and it's got that salt, that's going to make them hold on to it. And that's going to give me enough time and know, okay, they've got the bait, set the hook, I've got them. And that's important. And I absolutely believe that I, I will always fish a plastic bait that's got some type of scent or salt or garlic flavoring to it so that it'll hold on to that bait longer. Scent in moving baits, that's another story, whether or not they actually will be able to, I think there's too many other variables that the fish are keying in on, the vibration, the movement, the action of the bait or the tails to where those are the things that the fish you know, basically what we're doing is in any fishing situation, we're taking something that isn't alive, a, a jig, right. a spinnerbait, a, a crankbait, and we're making it look like it's alive. Right. And we're fooling the fish by its senses. I think what we're doing with most of those is we're using enough of the other senses, whether it's the fish's lateral line, its eyesight, to where smell is less important in that situation. The, the vibration, the flash, the color, all of those senses that the fish is using to see that bait is what's getting it to trigger that bite. And scent is probably not working that much in that situation. Okay. So guys, I would love to hear your opinions on scent. What scents do you use? Uh, I mentioned the gulp scent. Uh, we've talked about max scent, uh, baits that have that, uh, scent already put into them. What are your feelings about it? And how have, what, what has been the things that have proven to you that scents are important or don't really make a difference? Uh, we'd like to hear about it. It's Friday. So you know, give us, send us your comments over the weekend and we'd be really interested to hear about that. Thanks everybody for watching this week. We hope you had a great week. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, yeah. send in your comments and your likes. And again, like I said, have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday. Mm -hmm. Stay channeled.